You may have seen some of my videos on the interesting lore behind the brilliant, well-crafted Gears of War universe. Some of it is very dark, some of it is very sad, but there's no doubt that the universe still feels like it's only scratching the surface. So as always, I'm your host Abs, and here are 5 ways to expand the Gears of War lore. Number 1. Emergence Day now Emergence Day is what started it all, ever since the first Gears of War game. It's the first cutscene you ever watch, so it helps to shape the world that you're in. A world that knows nothing apart from war, and the Locust Horde are something never seen by humanity before. It is the most significant event in the Gears of War timeline, yet there's not as much detail as you'd think behind what it was like to experience that day. A day where the whole landscape of the planet's era changed. Why not have a game perhaps set on Emergence Day or a few days later where it's an RPG and you're playing as a civilian that's stranded, where there's more factions, perhaps more Locust enemies that died off earlier in the Locust War, and giving more of a hands-on feeling of Emergence Day. A similar sort of concept to Fallout, except with the unique Gears of War flavour. Number 2. The Lambent War Now the Lambent War is what drove the Locust to invade the surface and begin Emergence Day all due to the ever-growing threat of the Lambent. Now this was a war that began before the Locust War even started and continued underground as Locust tried to colonise the surface. Apart from the rise of Ram and the fall of Srak, we don't know much about this era. I would really love if Gears of War explored more of the Lambent War, looking into more Lambent monstrosities and more hollow creatures that turned Lambent that we never encountered in any of the games. Also, since Srak was banished to the front lines of the Lambent War after his demotion, or instead he was killed by Ram when he tried to ambush him. This would mean that the Locust Horde would have needed a new leading lieutenant on the front lines of the Lambent War, so it would be interesting to explore this in further detail. What I would personally do would be to have Scourge return to the Hollow after Emergence Day and lead the line against the Lambent since Srak had fallen. This would also make sense considering the Cantus are encountered until Gears of War 2, when the Gears infiltrate the Hollow, so it would make sense to keep all of the Cantus underground, protecting their temple and the cities. So imagine playing a Scourge and leading your own Blight of Locust and dealing with the Cantus, etc. And then of course Scourge would have to replace Ram after Ram's eventual death 14 years later. But this would lead to the events of Gears of War 2, leading to Scourge using the Riftworm to sink cities and eventually make his mark on the surface of Sera. Number 3. The Cantus Now sticking with the Cantus, I want to see more exploration on this local species. I think there's way more to them than what meets the eye. I feel like there's a reason as to why we never saw any Lambent Cantus, as well as how the Cantus High Priests were able to reach a spiritual plane called the Rift by inhaling emulsion fumes. As I've said previously, it would make more sense to retcon the Cantus as being an ancient species. That way, the architecture and landscape in the Hollow and Nexus can be as old as they actually look. If it was up to me, I would rewrite it so that the Cantus were an ancient species, living in the Hollow for many years, and then, when the Locust drones arrived with Mira from the Mount Kadar laboratory in the mid-Pendulum War era, the Cantus submitted to them, as the Cantus saw the sires as holy beings, since they were created from the indigenous creatures of the Hollow, which ultimately were all created by the Trinity of Worms, the Cantus's religion, and therefore finalising Nexus by creating the royal palace for their queen, and making further advancements as a collective, with the rest of the Locust Horde taking on the religion of the Trinity of Worms, and the Cantus priests becoming the religious officials of the Horde. Number 4. The Age of Armageddon Now the Age of Armageddon was a time, over a thousand years before the events of Emergence Day and the Locust War, where all Sarah knew was war, but this was a time before their society made cultural and scientific advancements. Therefore, using chariots, swords and spears for combat. Now this might be way out there, but imagine a Gears of War game set thousands of years earlier in the timeline, where those weapons and combat systems would be used in the mechanics. I'm not sure what the story would revolve around as of now. It could be set in the Gears of War universe, but have a similar-ish feel to God of War in terms of the combat. Now personally, 
I would love to see an alternate timeline where the Lokes Horde emerged, but they're more like the Orcs from Lord of the Rings, and so there isn't any guns, but everyone is using swords, shields, and so on. Perhaps this would be an idea if Gears of War ever gets a reboot, after the story is all said and done after Gears of War 6. But it's just an idea though. Number 5. Gears of War Chronicles Now this is an idea that I've thought of, where it would be a game or even an animated series, where it would tell many short stories of different characters in different timelines and wars. So, let's just say it's an animated series for instance. And this particular episode is about the Coltrane. He's a superstar, he's got the women, he's got the fame and so on. And we go through the events that he encountered on Emergence Day, where he loses his parents. Or how about an episode or short story, where it's Clayton Carmine during the events of Gears of War 2, during Operation Hollow Storm, with his own squad and his own struggles. Or even an episode or short story, where it's Major Garen Paddock's rise in the UIR, during the Pendulum Wars, and how his story unfolds. There's many unique characters and stories in the Gears of War universe, and this would be a great way to tell these stories. So that, my friends, are 5 ways to expand the Gears of War lore. Drop a like if you enjoy this lore video, subscribe for more similar content like this, and I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen if you want to watch my other lore videos as well. I'm your host Abs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.